Hi, my name is Mike Strello. I'm a deputy with the Olmstead County Sheriff's Office. I've worked here for about four years. I'm currently assigned to the Stewartville Cops position. Uh, today we're going to be doing a mock crash hosted uh, at the Stewartville Public Pool. Participating in the event, we're going to have law enforcement from Olmstead County, Minnesota State Patrol. We're going to have the Stewartville Fire Department, Gold Cross, Mayo Clinic, Mayo One. Um, we wanted to send a thank you out to House Chevrolet and to Griffin Gray, who was going to be assisting us as well. And then also to the staff and the students at uh, Stewartville High School. Our goal of a mock crash is to educate students and staff and the community um, about the tragedies that are involved in a traffic collision. Law enforcement. So, uh, hello. Um, I just came across the crash. Uh, okay. And the uh, school parking lot, uh, pool, pool parking lot. Um, uh, it looks pretty bad. There's, there's, there's some people are injured. Okay, what parking lot did you say, sir? Uh, the pool parking lot. Pool parking lot. What's your pool? Uh, Georgeville pool. Uh, Georgeville pool. There's, I mean, there's people need help. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your name? Pool. What's your name, sir? Uh, Daniel. I think it's most important that our kids know that we do care about them as students, but we care about them as people. That's really important that, that, our, that our school send that message to students. Uh, the event was awesome. Our kids, our kids put the event on, brought the community, uh, the community partners together, and, and really facilitated the whole thing. The one thing we want kids to know is like I, we want them to make good choices at all times of their life, not just not just prom weekend, which we celebrate this weekend, but but as they move into their life and, and wherever they're at, always having having this as an impact to them where they're making good decisions. Looking at the kids in the crowd and seeing how their reactions were, uh, seeing their faces, um, you could tell that they were very interested in what was going on. You could tell that they were moved by what they were seeing. Um, some of the students came up afterwards and actually told uh, myself and others that, you know, this was very surreal and uh, very eerie to watch. Um, so it obviously hits close close to home for them. I think the biggest thing I say to students often is the most powerful, the most powerful word in the English language is choice. 
and you, you have a choice at all times to, to, to make a good choice or to make a choice that can be life ending um, or life altering. So we want kids to make good choices at all times and hopefully an event like this just reinforces that, that every time you get into a car, uh, you've got to make a choice. Do you get into a car with someone who's been drinking? Uh, do you drink? Do you text? Whatever that looks like, we want kids to make good choices at all times. Yeah, that's the big thing that they have to remember is that uh, having your driver's license is a privilege, it's not a right. And bad decisions for a short term can make long term, uh, you know, issues and problems. Um, you know, you, texting and driving and drinking and driving, no seat belt use, just very standard things that, you know, take no time to do or think about, um, you know, can, can cause problems that last a lifetime. And, and that's the message that we want to get across here is we try to make this as real as possible and, and lifelike so that they can see how one poor decision can affect someone for the rest of their life.